the Exodus. The Israelites are finally free, struggling to leave Egypt behind. But now they find themselves trapped. They arrive at the Sea of Reeds, impossible to cross, and the Egyptian army is thundering down on them from behind. The Israelites cry out to Moses, Why have you brought us out here to die? They've been through so much, we can understand their terror. And Moses is their leader, but he doesn't tell them what to do. He just says, Have no fear. God will rescue you. God will battle for you. Now, God is not so thrilled with Moses' words. God asks, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to march forward. Lift your staff. Part the waters. What a strange moment. The Torah is a bit sparse here about what happened, play by play. So what actually happened? Do the people walk and then the water split? Or is it vice versa? Now Midrash is a special kind of story that rabbis tell to fill the gaps in Torah. The ancient rabbis created a great Midrash about this moment. They find this character elsewhere in the Torah named Nachshon. He's Aaron's brother-in-law, which makes him Moses' brother and brother-in-law or something. Anyways, he's also the prince of the tribe of Judah, a leader. According to the Midrash, Nachshon wastes no time. He sees the people crying, observes the other tribal leaders hemming and hawing, hears Moses and God arguing, and he starts to walk into the water, up to his knees, and then his waist and then his shoulders, and then his neck. The Israelites stop crying. Moses and God stop debating. Seeing Nachshon's courageous march into the churning waves, Moses lifts his staff. Nachshon is now in so deep that he cannot breathe as the water covers his mouth and nose, and then, and only then, the legend goes, the waters began to part. Following Nachshon's courageous example, the Israelites run towards the parting waters, escape to the other side, and join Nachshon on dry land. And then, as we know from the Torah, Pharaoh's army races into the parted waters, only to drown as they come crashing back around them. The ancient rabbis were trying to teach us something by embellishing this scene in the Torah's Exodus story. Moses was a great leader, but even great leaders sometimes get stuck. Sometimes they're busy ruminating, talking, and praying when they need to act. To act with courage and audacity so people know what to do. Nachshon never spoke, but he knew how to act. Now the ancient rabbis added another great teaching. Some of them said, actually, it was only when every Israelite Every woman, man, and child, only then when they all followed Nachshon into the waters, when all of them joined hands in courage and faith, that it was then that the seas parted. And so they're telling us, we can't just wait for a hero to save us. Each and every one of us has the power to step up and lead. <laughs>